Jen is having fun at Lynn Villa. Oh, we love Lynn Villa. Here's the thing, the kids are getting out of school. They're annoying. You need to have something for them to do. Norm says, your kids can pick strawberries that look like that. Really? My kids don't know how to do that. We're gonna figure out how to get these amazing strawberries. They're gorgeous, Norm. Thanks so much, perfect weather. And let's get back to Jen, who's having some fun at Lynn Villa. Strawberries! Yeah, here's, here's the thing. There are some farms that don't have strawberries. You guys do. We'll talk about why you have them and how this is a perfect place to bring the kids. They're getting out of school. You need ideas. I have them. What's the old line? You can pick your friends and you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friend's nose. I have not heard that one, really? sorry. Can't help um, you there. <laughs> all I know is you can pick strawberries right now. Yes, you can. And so, a great place to do it, Lynn Villa Orchard. Hi, Jen. Hey, guys. OK, so here's the thing. School is getting out. You know this, Norm. Yeah. Um, and the kids need something to do. Mom needs something to do with the kids. Dad needs something to do with the kids. Good morning, buddy. Good morning. I love your new black shirt. <laughs> it's so sophisticated. We change things up. Farm chic. OK, so we are in the middle of what can only be described as a beautiful strawberry farm. Um, the weather right now is perfect for strawberries, right? It's perfect. Strawberries love 70 degree days and 50 degree nights. And that hasn't been seen here in Pennsylvania for five or six years, but this year has been perfect. Sue got it right for once. That's probably why she's on vacation, because oh. it's so nice. All right, so this is, a, this is a beautiful box of strawberries. And you said one thing to notice that's different at Lynn Villa are the stems. Why is that important? Yep. We suggest to our customers and my men, when they pick the strawberries, everyone's picked by the stem. Most farms pick it by the fruit and bruises it. Oh. Okay, so as I'm walking along here, how old, like, as long as you can walk, you can do this? So, like, little toddlers? Sure thing. Any age is welcome. Yep. Ba babies come out. Um, we charge. If you walk, you're a customer. <laughs> okay, cool. And the one thing is, um, it's a really great experience, and a hayride is included in the experience. Yep, you meet at the Pick Your Own Shed. You get a hayride through the beautiful fields. Yeah. And they bring you out here, and you get to pick your box of strawberries. Uh, strawberries, you like to do them every other day, right? You want to pick the field every other day. Like this strawberry Yep. is ready. OK. Red. And how do I know? Look at, I mean, this is like basically a Disney World strawberry. That's the most gorgeous. You want to just have it red to the tip. Red so to the tip. So you can check that. Is it good? Beautiful. Like it? Okay. That's perfect. And look, I'm going to pick it. I didn't pick it from the thing. I picked it from the stem. Perfect. Yeah? And I can just eat it, right? Eat it right out of the field. I, um, now, one of the things, as a mom of messy kids, you've got a tip when it comes to the juicy strawberries. So many things stain clothing, but strawberry juice, when it gets on your clothes, it washes out very easily. Ooh. And it, it's great photos when the strawberry juice is on the face. That's true. And people do love to take their picture when they come here, right? That's whole, a part of the experience. Everybody wants to catch that picture and relive that moment they've spent with family picking fruit at different farms. Some people, farms are already out of strawberries because of the weather was iffy in, in May. You guys have so many strawberries because of your unique growing situation? Yes, most people had planted the strawberries in September and the flowers had opened up in April. Okay. And we had extremely cold weather, so it killed the flowers. Right. These plants were only planted 50 days ago, okay. which we waited till after the freeze and the flowers didn't come out until after the freeze, freezing temperatures were over. This is, this is actually our first day in this field. Okay, look at this. This is like so good. Am I gonna get in trouble for picking all these things? Thank no, you. We say no eating in the field, but within reason, we want people to try one. It's good. And enjoy. You guys are missing out. It's so amazing. Thank you, Norm. Thank no you. No eating in the you. field. She's a rule look breaker. I'm doing it.